Assalamualaikum. My name is Alfonso Lopez. I'm proud to be the uh, first Latino Democrat ever elected to the Virginia General Assembly. Um, and I just want to give you a little background about my district. Our district goes from Bailey's Crossroads all the way to Pentagon City. Columbia Pike is the spine of our district. There are 108 languages spoken in our district. 58 spoken at the local high school, Wakefield High School. I tell this to some folks down in Richmond, they blows their mind. But this is the rich tapestry of what Virginia is becoming. What you see here tonight is the rich tapestry of what Virginia is becoming because we're bringing the most talented people, the most freedom loving people in the world to our community. And we're growing. I want to thank you for being here tonight, for all the sentiments that have been expressed. And I also want to read just a very quick letter that I'm adding to the many letters that have recognized Dal Hidra over the last few weeks. Congratulations to the Dar Al Hidra Islamic Center on the occasion of its 30th anniversary. For the past 30 years, you have provided a variety of invaluable services to our community, such as after school programs, healthcare services, food banks, and spiritual guidance. Thanks to your tireless efforts, members of our entire community have access to important support services and to the care that they need. It has taken the faith and hard work of so many to lift a community center from its humble beginnings three decades ago into one of the largest mosques in the country today. It is this sense of community that helps bring people together as we look towards the challenges of the future. I wish you all the best over the coming years. Thank you for having me here this evening. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto all of you. My name is Shaq Hussein. I'm the Imam of the Center. Center. I wanted to just say a word of welcome to Mr. Moran, Mr. Lopez, Mrs. Penny, and all of you who came to honor us tonight. We are always honored to have you come here. I also want to recognize my dear friends, Nathan Brown and Bob and Dorn, who have been friends since I have come here. Thank you very much for always honoring us with your presence. Since you promised our next generation to have it different, I would like to make a proposal. I spoke with lots of people about the Native community and others. And I would like for you to help us get it part of our reality in Fairfax County. The county has lots of cultures, lots of religions, lots of faith backgrounds. But we unfortunately do not have a support system that can bring all these people together, especially the second generation. The public school does not talk about God. We want a place that our children can call their own, all of our children, where they can talk about God. We want a place that you may call it a multi-religious Fairfax Center, so that people can come together from different faith backgrounds, have a library, a video, you have resources, you have a playground, you have a gym, you have elderly place to meet, you have a lecture hall, you have what a community center should have for our youth, for our older people, for everybody to get to know each other. Now, a question to you, Mr. Moran, and Mr. Lefebvre, and Mr. Penny. Will you be willing to lead that I can give you the details, but I need to see a strong yes that is really important. Is the county ready to offer this huge community a well-deserving structure, building, park, where all of our faith communities can feel it is their own, they will contribute to it, but the county has to be the primary host for all of us. Let me give you the mic. Uh, 
Everybody miss you. In all honesty, the county is not in a position to do that yet. It's not ready to do that yet. But I think it is ready to begin the dialogue on what it would take to do that kind of, to have that kind of a center. Um, there are a whole lot of competing interests for what we do in the county. And we need to be able to find the appropriate location, how it would be funded, what it would be, uh, what it would look like. We did a whole lot of things. And we're working with a number of people in the various uh, cultural communities who wish to have something of their own to be able to have a community center. So the, those, the, that dialogue is beginning, but it is not as easy as it seems to be on the surface. So I think we are ready to have those conversations to develop some sort of a plan, not a proposal at this point, but a plan of how to get there. But we're not ready to uh, entertain that yet without a good deal of dialogue. And I just, I know that's a, an answer that maybe some folks are not very happy with, but I have to be honest with you. I do not want to give you false hope that these things do take a long time, but they can't ever happen if we don't have the discussion. All right. Well, thank you. We're going to continue this discussion. I want to thank all of the volunteers. All of the